Welcome to Microsoft Access Beginner Level 2, brought to you by AccessLearningZone.com. I am your instructor, Richard Rost. This is Level 2 of my Beginner's Guide to Microsoft Access Database Design. This class follows Access Beginner Level 1, which I strongly recommend you watch first before continuing with this class. Access Beginner Level 1 is absolutely free. You can find it on my website right there. It's also on my YouTube channel. It's about four hours long and covers all the basics and the fundamentals that you should know before watching today's class. As I always say, my lessons are meant to be followed one after the other, so please don't skip levels. This class is recorded with Access 365, roughly equivalent to Microsoft Access 2019. However, if you're using Access 2016, you should be okay as well. If you are using an older version of Access, come to my website and get the version that is for you. My classes are broken up into Beginner, Expert, Advanced, and Developer. This is level two of the Beginner series. I recommend you sit back, relax, watch each video once through, pay attention to the details, then watch the video again, build the database with me. Don't just grab the copies off my website, which you can download them, but it's better if you build them yourselves. All right, and keep an open mind. Watch the video again if you have to. All right, the stuff isn't that hard to learn. That light bulb will go off. You, you will get it, trust me. Avoid building serious projects until you get to at least expert level two, because you're going to learn a lot of stuff between now and then. All right, build the class database, build a hobby database if you collect baseball cards or whatever. All right, do it for fun. Use access for fun. You'll get there. Okay, let's take a look at exactly what we're going to cover in today's class. In lesson one, we're going to get started for the day by downloading the sample database from my website that we built in Access Beginner 1. We'll talk about a security warning that you get if you run an unfamiliar database. We'll show you how to set up a trusted location on your computer or on your network so you can put databases in there and not have to deal with that security warning. I'll show you how to set up a desktop shortcut to your database and we'll go over a quick review of what we covered in level one. In lesson two, we'll be working with form design. We're going to rebuild the customer form that we started in access level one. We'll learn how to add, move and resize controls, align and size objects, and we'll change the foreground and background colors. In lesson three, we're going to be continuing with form design. We'll be focusing on more form formatting. I'll show you how to size objects to the grid. We'll talk about grid lines versus grid dots. I get this email all the time from people. Some people see the grid lines, some people see the grid dots, and I'll show you how to switch between them. And then we'll do a lot more with working with colors and with themes. In lesson four, we're going to get a brief introduction to relationships in our database. We'll learn why we want to use relationships, the different types of relationships, the difference between primary and foreign keys. We'll set up an appointment table, learn about default values, and the date and now functions. In lesson five, we're going to build an appointment form, very similar to the customer form that we built in the last class. We'll make a customer combo box using the combo box wizard. So we can pick a customer from a drop-down list of customers for the appointment. Then we'll learn about the command button wizard so we can make a button to open up the form and show just appointments for the customer that we're on. So lots of cool stuff in lesson five. Want more? If you'd like to see me post the next lesson in the series for free here on my YouTube channel, be sure to like the video, subscribe to my channel, and post a comment saying, I'd like the next lesson, please. Click on the link in the description below for more details on how this works.